Hey Frack, I'm Freddy Frags back with another video. Today's video is my top five uh, designer spring fragrances for 2016. Now, without any further ado, we're going to just start. No uh, honorable mentions, no nothing else, just the top five list. Now, at number five, we have Ferragamo's F Black. Now, this is a great scent in my opinion uh great for the cooler spring evenings uh if you want to go clubbing lounge out to dinner it's a great scent just spray 30 minutes before you leave boom good to go for six seven eight hours out you know you'll be good to go and at number four we have dior savage um now savage has contradicting uh, reactions within the community uh, some people love it some people hate it um, I'm one that think it's that thinks is okay um, my wife picked it up for me for Christmas um, I do enjoy the scent um, I also think it's not my mind-blowing scent it's a sign I think it's a good signature scent for non frag heads that have no uh, don't really have the desire or knowledge Con to continue searching for something that fits them perfectly. This is a scent that will garner compliments that you know you smell good and it's just a good cologne type scent. Um, I prefer it over um, Chanel, uh, Blue de Chanel, which it's compared to very often. And again, I wear it pretty often because um, my wife enjoys it. I do get compliments on it. And it's a great, especially now for the spring. But you can wear it all year round. And at number three, one of my all-time favorite scents, uh, Gucci Porom 2. Duh. Um, oh, man. Tea, cinnamon, tobacco is basically what I get out of this fragrance. Um, it reminds me of spring only because that's when I bring out my humidor and my cigars. And that tobacco in there... Reminds me of when I first opened my humidor for the spring. Now, I, you get a lot of that tea, that black tea and the and the uh, cinnamon, uh, the spices. It's so nice. It's so relaxing. I actually wear the scent all year round because it's a common scent for me. I wear a lot to bed. But in the springtime, I wear it out. I love it. Again, it's good to, for me. I think it's good all year round. But I enjoy it mostly in the spring. Um... Yeah, it's a great scent and performs fairly well. And at number two, we have Therry Mugler's Amen's Flanker Ultra Zest. Now, Ultra Zest is exactly that. It's a zesty blood orange with coffee and vanilla. Just to um, give you a, a little idea about what you get. Something like a creamsicle, uh, but a, a little bit on the darker side uh, with the coffee. But it's still fresh enough to keep it bright the whole time. And um, this is a scent that's great for New York's uh, spring because you have days where you're in your 40s and 50s and then you have days where you're in the 70s, almost 80. So that scent, if you only had one scent, that scent can, can be worn through all the different temperatures here in New York. Um, but I do say that this is more on the playful side, so I do tend to wear this on the weekends or when I'm out in the park with my kids or hanging out with my friends. I wouldn't wear this anywhere where I need to impress somebody, but it smells good. Get compliments on it as well. Uh, my number one is a scent that is new in my collection. And although I had some other reviewers mention it on the YouTube reviews and, and stuff like that, um, I actually never really gave it any consideration because of the house n never really blew my mind. But uh, I was talking to Brooklyn fragrance lover Carlos, asking for a few suggestions on the designer side when I was uh, ordering some uh, scents for my warm, you know, for warm weather for my collection, and he mentioned this one. So I decided to take his advice and blind buy it. I got a pretty good deal. And the bomb. Uh, I, I enjoy it a lot. It's Dunhill's icon. It's 
I think this is going to be my designer signature scent for the spring. You get citrus, you get woods, you get spices, you get good performance. Um, not great performance, but you get good performance. Um, I get about six to seven hours with half of that being about moderate. Um, it never booms off your, your body, but it's it performs well, uh, especially for a citrusy scent. Um, I recommend it. I see somebody with from the mid 20s to like mid 40s enjoying it the most uh, uh, a professional person or even a person that's into fashion and around that age would uh what I th I think would enjoy this the most even though I think it could be worn younger than that and older than that that's the age where I think fits it fits the bill now again those are my top five feel free to comment below leave your top five or comment about my top five. Um, what What are your thoughts? Um, again, comment, rate, subscribe, even share the video if you can. Um, it will be highly appreciated. Um, yeah, so that was my take on Spring Designer 2016. Till next time, Fry Come. Peace and stay blessed. Bye.